Hello, this is Michael Rashad. In this short video, we're going to process and pass out some information from a single address field, which you can see here, into individual fields. And we need this for a variety of different reasons. The process is very straightforward, but we're going to use FileMaker's replace function to do this. And replace is enormously powerful and it works very quickly over a large set of records. So let's get started. Well, the first thing we need to do is obviously we need to add a field for city, state, and zip, because that's what we're going to pull out of the address field. So let's go ahead and do that. Go into define fields, city, state, zip. Now, we're going to make all of these text, and you might think that zip code is a number field, but it's actually not. If we need to treat it as a number, then we'll create a separate field to do so. But for the moment, it's a text field. Let's go into layout mode and just add those fields to the layout. And as you can see, I've added them in a different color, just so they stand out. Now, the state field is going to be very small. So we'll just narrow that. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to extract the zip code. And to do that, I'm going to click into the zip field. And bearing in mind there's 5,346 records. And I'm going to open the replace dialog. On a Mac, that is command equals. On a PC, it is control equals. Command equals Mac, control equals PC. I'm using a Mac. This opens the replace dialog box and I want to replace with calculated result and I'm going to use the write words function address 1 which means I want the last word in my address field click replace and as you can see the zip code has now been formulated now and there are lots of different ways to do this. The way that I do it is as I go through this, I clean out data that I don't need in the other field. So I'm going to click into the address field and I'm going to open the replace dialog box again. This time I'm going to use a substitute function. In the address field, which is the one I'm currently in, and I'm going to substitute the value of the zip field which if you remember is the last word in our address field with nothing. Very simple. You'll notice that the last word, the zip code is now disappeared from here so it's only in there. Now let's get the state. Click into the field, replace, calculate a result, write words, address 1, replace. Now you'll notice here if I click into the address field there's actually a blank space at the end of the address and I'm going to get rid of that shortly but for the moment let's just get rid of the state in here. Open the replace dialog box substitute address value of the state click OK click replace now we've got our state and our states disappeared now at this point I'm actually going to get rid of those blank spaces at the end of it so I'm going to open the replace dialog box and I'm going to use a custom function called super trim click replace and it is now gone now to extract the city is a little bit more complicated because I'm actually looking for everything after the first comma so I'm going to use a, a fairly complex calculation to do this. Not terribly, but fairly. 
Okay, so we're going to click into the city field, open the replace dialog box, and this is a bit more complicated. Now we're using three functions here, the right function, the length function, and the position function, and we're looking for everything that is to the right of the first comma. In other words, the position of this item here, the comma, the right one. So we click OK, click Replace, and we've now got all of the cities. Now, you'll notice that there's a lot of there's commas at the end, there's some cities that start with lowercase, there's some cities that are in uppercase, and we're going to correct all that in a minute, but the first thing we've got to do is we've got to get rid of that entry in the other field so we can correct it. Because substitute is case sensitive. Click into here, control equals, substitute, address, with city or rather city with nothing click OK click replace and you'll notice that we've now got that in corrected the city's gone we still got some cleanup to do first let's now go into the city field again again use the control equals replace this time we're going to replace it we're going to say proper city so that'll give us each each word in the city name will be capitalized then we're going to substitute that to get rid of any commas because we've got commas at the end and then we're also going to super trim it to get rid of any extra spaces at the end okay click replace and now the city has been corrected can we get rid of all the commas in here I think we can. And in just a few steps, we've cleaned up our data. Now, this has taken about eight minutes to do, but I've done it much slower as I'm going through and explaining it to you. It can be done very, very quickly indeed when you know what you're doing and you're not having to slow down. Hope you found this interesting. It's a very, very powerful function in FileMaker. The only thing I will caution you is don't use the replace function when you are tired because if you make a mistake, there is absolutely no way of going back on it. Thanks for watching. It's Michael Rashad. Bye bye.